Boss up on the next. Boss up on the next. Boss up on the next. What's good, YouTube? It's your man Spike League Baby. It's Boston Game. You know what I'm saying? Don't get it twisted. We're here with another video. You know what I'm saying? Don't get it twisted. I was on the phone with my man's one day. He does reactions on YouTube and go follow him on Instagram as well. Cause why not show love to the bro? You know what I'm saying? He wanted to get in the fashion on a heavy tip. You feel me? He was like, I should do a video on that. Cause he's, I'm pretty sure, like, if he's interested in it, I know a lot of other people are. You feel me? The most important tips about fashion for beginners. As y'all see, I wrote I wrote these in my notes real quick, so I won't miss nothing out. You feel me? You gotta stay organized. First thing I gotta hear is the very first step I should say is to learn your body and what fits it the best. You feel me? I know y'all at least been born for like a good amount of years to know what size you wear. You feel me? Learning your body and learning what fits you isn't about sizing because fit is more important than sizing. You feel me? I feel like once you know, once you learn what fits you better when it comes to fitting. That's when you could just go out the way, buy a lot of clothes and different things and you will always look good. For example, my normal size is medium. That's the size that fits me perfectly. If I want something fit, I'm gonna get a medium. But usually all my tops is oversized. So I always get like an extra large or something like that around that range. Because I feel like I look good in oversized clothing more than I do in fitted clothing. You feel me? Follow me on Instagram. All the tops in every fit is most likely oversized. So the different fits we have is obviously oversized. I mean, we got a relaxing fit, fitted fit. You feel me? So once you learn that, I feel like anything should look good on you no matter what you buy. You feel me? That was actually a very like short topic because some of these I might have to you know elaborate on more than that but my second tip for y'all is figure out the styles that interest you you feel me and when I say that I want y'all to find y'all inspiration what inspires you to have this style you feel me you might see somebody that dresses different from your regular day basis it could honestly not be the style that's really inspiring you it could be just how different it is or just how creative it is or blase blase you feel me well another thing i want y'all to do is like you should express yourself you feel me while y'all putting together these outfits and dressing nights i want y'all to express yourself because at the end of the day it's like fashion isn't to impress it's to express and i ain't talking about my motherfucking home you know what i'm saying my motherfucking nigga if y'all if y'all watch this channel y'all already know my uh main bro on this channel name express but hey i don't feel like i gotta explain myself because like now this joke kind of like getting pushed all the way over and i'm still talking about it till like this moment so it's like why are you still talking about that we don't care about your friend right now as y'all should because he that's my mom like me you know what i'm saying but like we ain't talking about him we talking about fashion so like let me let me just you know elaborate on the fashion all right look when i say express yourself you have to find out what style really like compliments you and I'm not talking about out of looks. I'm talking about what, what compliments your personality, what compliments your vibe, what compliments your aesthetic, you feel me? When you're figuring out your style, you should go off a of personal taste, not what everybody else likes. But I'ma hold that thought for later because I'ma dig into that topic later on in the video, you feel me? Okay, third, which is probably what y'all probably are here for, is for the shopping part. First thing I got is you gotta you gotta know this. This is something I wish I knew when I first got into fashion heavy. You feel me? For This is for the people that's just beginning. If you're shopping for all essentials, like say if you say, if you say like, hey, I got like $500, $1,000 in my wallet. I wanna splurge that on on clothes. Not necessarily meaning that you need that much because like, my name ain't uh, Jeff Bezos or Elon Musk, so like essentials are very important. Like especially if you have like a big variety of essentials. What I would really want y'all to do is pay attention to the quality, cause if you get high quality essentials, it'll last you forever. And that's what essentials are there to do. Essentials is there for longevity. You feel me? Cause essentials. One thing about essentials is they can never go out of style because. They are essential. Like, how much time do I gotta say that word? You could get like basically any solid piece just in different colors. The fact that you have different types of shades and colors and stuff like that, that will really go a long way because like when you get when you get a statement piece, right? Say if one day you're walking in the mall or something or you're shopping online 
and you see like this crazy, I don't know, this crazy top. You wanna look at it and be like, this is hard, let me cop this right away. But once you get it, if you don't have these essential pieces, it's like, what am I gonna wear this with? If you have the essential pieces, that's easy. You already got all these colors and all these different shades of pants. And you just easily match it up with whatever you had. One thing I gotta say about essential pieces is people look at essentials and be like, oh, uh, that don't have a design on it, so the price need to be like real cheap because there's nothing special about it, you feel me? But the thing that's special is that it's essential and it's high quality. So with that being said, quality over price. Same thing, like I said, fit over size, quality over price. You feel me? I don't care if it's a white shirt or some black jeans. If it's low quality, that shit's not gonna last, you feel me? So with that being said, I'm gonna go drop some websites or stores that uh I feel like has high quality pieces or essentials. By the way, this is no paid promotion, so I shouldn't even be saying it. Cause like they ain't they ain't they ain't writing me to check. I'm helping my I'm helping my people out. My support is out right now. So don't get it twisted. One of my favorite websites to get essential pieces from is minimal.la. Now I know y'all probably looking at that price like But like it's really not that much. Like it's really not that much. It's affordable, you feel me? It's people charging fucking like seven hundred dollars for a white shirt that say like Gucci like right here. Just a little bit of Gucci or something like that. You feel me? But that's brand new. So I'm gonna go into that later on in the video as well. We got ASOS. I never knew how to say that, so I just believe that's how you say it. ASOS actually have a huge variety of different things. So um, they have things that's high quality at a good price. They got stuff that's high quality at a high price, but they have stuff that's low quality at a bad at a at a good price. You feel me? But um, from all of my um, from all of my experience at ASOS, they've been they've been kind of good on the quality too. So that's why I felt like they could be in this time. Okay, one place that everyone talks about, I feel is so necessary. It's like you can't talk about affordable and high quality without talking about this place. Forever 21. So let me stop. Hell no. That's the worst place to shop at. Literally. Don't shop at Forever 21. Unless they throwing me the check, you can shop over there, whatever you want. The place I'm talking about is Uniqlo, you feel me? Personally, I'm not gonna lie to y'all. I haven't necessarily like okay, so I live in I live in Baltimore County. Uh, the malls that we have over here does not hold a Uniqlo at all. The closest mall that has a Uniqlo is an hour away from me. I never really bought anything from there. I have been in Uniqlo a few times and felt how good the quality was, and I hear a lot of good things about it. So I kind of understand the level of quality they're at. Yeah, I feel like they have really great quality. Yeah, if you want the uh, essentials, you feel me? You better, you better hook up with that motherfucking Uniqlo. Don't get it twisted. I wish. I was getting a check for this because I'm definitely just throwing that name out there. Y'all might just go over there. And now I even got a uh, coupon code or whatever. Um, One store I feel like y'all should just stay away from. I said this already. Stay away from 521. I'm sorry. Like, they ain't going, they definitely not going to throw me a bag because I said that shit twice. They probably looking at this video like, damn, this nigga Hoeing me. It is what it is. You feel me? Five or one. Y'all make some terrible ass clothing. Like, y'all quality is trash. Like, the lowest tier. Trash. On to the next one. I ain't talking about Jay Z and Swiss Beats nonsense. Styling is a very important aspect. Well, it's one of the most important aspects of fashion. Because what's fashion if you ain't styling it right? You feel me? You can buy the hardest piece, but it ain't the hardest piece if you ain't putting it together right. My different ways of matching. I'm gonna go to Spike Leak Instagram. Follow me at Spike Leak underscore, you feel me? Okay, we got matching with small details. Go to this picture of your boy Spike Leak, you feel me? Chilling in Cali, you know what I'm saying? Don't get it twisted. This is last year, last year summer, you feel me? Uh, you see how they have all these colors? You got the orange, the gray, the black, the blue, the green, I guess. The shoelaces are neon. So I was like, hey, let me just throw on a full neon shirt, you feel me? It just looks good all together because like, it brings out the shoe, it brings out the shoelaces, and 
it just looks, it's just a clean look, you feel me? Next up, we got the uh, three different types of color blocking. I'm gonna just tell y'all the three and then I'm gonna dumb it down. Okay, so we have monochromatic, complementary, and then we have analogous, you feel me? Monochromatic is when you wear like one color, right? But in different shades, you feel me? I got an example for this. I know, it's my most recent one. You see how a light colored shoe with a darker colored shirt. This is like blue, like navy blue and dark teal. Then you have the teal and the, what in the world? What type of zoom in was that? Okay, there you go. Then we have the tail in the in the uh in the shoe. But the pants is also tail, but it's not like not the same tail as the uh as the shoes, you feel me? So it all comes together. It looks nice in my opinion. This is one of my favorite fits actually. This is one of my favorite pictures. Shout out Express for taking this picture. This is a dope picture. That's monochromatic for you, you feel me? Next up we got complimentary. I'ma just put okay, color wheel, you feel me? So red, what's parallel to red? You got the green. Yellow, what's what's parallel to yellow? You got the purple. Blue, what's parallel to the blue? You got the orange, you feel me? I could go to this wonderful picture I took of my, my friend, you feel me? This is the best picture of 2020. I'm showing y'all some unreleased footage right now, so y'all should just appreciate me and click the like button right now. Jeez. This, this is one hard picture. I mean, it's not orange, it's more beige, but like, you feel me? It's still, it's still complimentary because beige kind of fits with orange and then he got the royals on with the blue. Next up, we got analogous, right? Analogous, going back to this color wheel, right? Analogous is color that's like right next to each other. Blue, purple, and red, blue red makes purple so all three of them are right next to each other okay i got one okay look going to a pastel standpoint let me go to a pastel color wheel because you know red isn't really in pastel it's really pink it's the uh pink then it's the purple then it's the tail or the blue like, to be honest i don't think about this while i'm getting dressed but it's like it's nice to know what you're doing and why it looks good you feel me pink tail purple why do them three colors match i mean why why does why does making a fit with these three colors match you say because the analogous rule that's why okay and it just looks nice okay yeah that's all i got for like matching okay you still got like contrasting which is like basically black white you can make wearing the same color without even Use a monochromatic, you can make that look good. Tip five is I feel like y'all should follow your own opinions and criticism, you feel me? Brands obviously hold value and like the price point and business point. In reality, brands do not hold value in an outfit, bro. This is my opinion. So if you're in high school, right? You at the lunch table, everybody just roasting your ass because what you wearing don't look right at all. But you be like, oh, you can't, you can't talk about me. This shirt Gucci. Niggas gonna look at you like, nigga, you look like a piece of shit still. It's gonna be even worse, cause it's like, how you got money for Gucci and still can't dress? And you're trying. So I feel like y'all shouldn't just look, look, look for brands or look for logos, cause that really doesn't add anything to your fit. Unless like, you use the logo in a way to match with something else. Like say, if, like the Tommy Hilfiger stuff, like, you know, they probably have like a big Tommy Hilfiger logo and you use that to like match something or something like that or, I don't know. Following trends is not really, it, I'm not saying it's a bad thing, but it's like follow trends that you personally like. Don't follow trends because it's trending, you feel me? Cause at the end of the day, you're gonna end up buying pieces that fits this. And when I'm saying trend, it's like, trend is more of like a timestamp. Like say if you started getting into fashion in 20, let me say 2014. All you're gonna be buying is like galaxy clothing, emoji pants, bucket hats and stuff like that. Now coming to 2020, you're gonna feel like you don't have nothing to wear because you spent it all on stuff that's not for longevity. You tried to follow the timestamp, you tried to follow the trend. The most, this, this is literally the most important aspect of fashion, bro. I mean, everything is important, but like, you feel me? This, is, this tops them all. This one tops them all, okay? Confidence, boom, mind blowing. Confidence is the most important thing because if you feel like you're well dressed, don't let nobody, don't let nobody tell you shit nonsense. Express could probably tell you, young. All regular day back in like the summertime consists of us hooping and then going out. Of course, I'm not gonna leave in something I used to hoop in or whatever. But like, I used to be like, hey, does this look good? Does this look good? Does this look good? And stuff. And going through everything and asking him what his opinion is without thinking about my opinion first and shit. Now it's like, I don't ask nobody shit. If I think it look good, it look good on me. 
Fuck it. I wouldn't say I was asking him because I didn't have an opinion for myself. It's just that I wanted to look good, so I wanted somebody else's opinion. But now it's like I don't need nobody else's opinion because Express, you my homie, but like I'm not dressing for you. You feel me? I'm dressing for myself. What am I doing? Asking you, does this wear? Does this look good, or should I wear this? You feel me? Another thing is like since you're confident, if you know you look good, you shouldn't look for validation from anybody. Don't search for compliments or anything like that. If you know that you look good, then you're gonna feel good. I got some extra points real quick. I know I said six in the title, but like this is just some extra notes that you could jot down. But this one is very, very important, bro. To look good, you need to smell good. Like hygiene comes before fashion, literally. If you want to look good, you have to smell good. How you gonna look like a million bucks and smelling like a penny? How you gonna be how you gonna be looking like a piece of artwork and smelling like a piece of shit? After you really get into fashion and you already prove your point that you do this shit, you know what I'm saying? Don't get it twisted. You're gonna be just naturally stylish. You're gonna be like, it's gonna be points where you're gonna just be chilling, chilling on your outfit, you feel me? Like, you're not even like focusing on looking good. You're naturally gonna look good because like, I don't know, people already got the picture of you. That's, that's just from my experience. Accessories come a long way. That goes like this bandana, like, the only reason I'm really wearing this bandana is because I didn't get a haircut. But I also think I look good in this bandana. So accessories, that goes along with your jewelry, like this this palm tree I wear on my neck every day. But like style is more than just clothes. Like it could be like for a female, it could be your nails, it could be your hair. Like for me, I definitely have a lot of hairstyles. Like I probably have like four hairstyles, four or five hairstyles I have. Certain hairstyles fit the aesthetic at the moment. When I when I have a certain hairstyle, I like to wear a certain stuff sometimes. And yeah, like in, when you get your nails done a certain color and it matches like the outfit or whatever, that 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 shit looks slick to me. Sadly, that's the end of this video. I hope y'all enjoyed it. I hope y'all had a good time hearing me rant about stuff that wasn't about fashion, even if it was a fucking fashion video. Hearing me talk about all this stuff this is just my opinion on the most important tips about fashion you feel me if you don't agree then that's fine if you agree if you can relate then that's like okay kudos you feel me you don't fucking you don't fucking but like make sure you hit that subscribe button if you appreciate this uh content i'm giving out you feel me i got a lot more lit content most of my content uh provides music content i'm just starting to do this fashion video so if you subscribe now you're going you're going to be with me from the uh bottom you feel me and that's lit you feel me so with that being said make sure you like comment subscribe and throw the post notifications on you feel me? so you won't miss the act and litness out the waviest boss since 1998 don't get it twisted thanks for watching you guys i pray that y'all receive a lot of blessings and positivity for today tomorrow and the rest of y'all life you know what i'm saying spike leak turning out you know what i'm saying don't forget waviest boss in the game you know what i'm saying